there's several different people who have said the issues live in the tissues, right? And so somatic practices, this is where the information is, is information is stored in our bodies. So from the time that you're conceived, your body starts to remember your experiences. You may not cognitively remember the experiences, but your body does. And that's for good reason. It's to help you navigate the environment that you are in to survive. Your body always wants to live and survive. So if we become disconnected from what we're truly feeling inside of us, then we don't allow ourselves to heal, transmute, transform energy within our physical being. So, you know, one of the things that the military taught me very well was how to disconnect from my body in order to push through pain. You know, you do a 15 mile road march with rock and weapon and my heels would be gone at mile two, like literally mm -hmm. skin torn off, right? So I learned how to endure pain and not connect with it. Now that can be very beneficial for the moment, but long-term, that's not a pattern we wanna keep in place because how we, how we heal, how we transmute energy inside of us is we actually have to feel it. We have to allow for the flow of whatever that energy is so that it no longer stays with us. Because we got to remember that energy is not created nor destroyed. It's simply transformed. And this is physics. This is the way our bodies work, you know? So mm -hmm. I think it's really important, and I'm a living example of this, where I was feeling pain, but I wasn't connected to my body. I wasn't helping my body move those discordant energies, that, that emotion, which is biochemistry, you know, that is generated every time you have an experience and it can get stored in different places. I didn't allow for that to flow. And so then, then the, the energy pathways become congested. And this is the beginning of, you know, patterns of pain or, um, emotional struggle. So yeah, I think it's really important for people to explore any somatic, any body practice. It could be yoga. It could be different forms of exercise, but allowing yourself to also feel into that is really important.